To test the hypothesis with two related or matched samples, I always would like to have first the difference between uh, the values of the, let's say, post-test, pre-test, or between the, the matched individuals. But in this case, I have the grades of my students uh, before teaching some class and after teaching the class. So let's find for each individual the difference between post-test and pre-test. And I will copy this formula for 40 randomly selected students. Now everything is becoming almost the same as testing hypothesis with one sample. I need the average of all these differences. So it is average. And my data of the differences is recorded in E8, E8 to E47. Okay, so these are the differences, five units. Hmm, is this statistically significant? It sounds like something is happening in my class, something good, but let's see if this is statistically significant. The standard error, the noise, uh, according to central limit theorem, is the standard deviation of my sample, and again E8 to E47, divided by SQRT of the total number of students in this sample, which is 40. It is 2.4. T-test actually is D, the average value of the sample, of the two samples, minus uh, the difference in the population, the average difference in the population according to the null hypothesis, there shouldn't be difference. So this difference I already eliminated because it should be zero. Okay, so we have the average divided by standard error. And this is my t-test. t-critical value with Excel is t-inverse of level of significance which is 0 0.05 and degree of freedom in our case 40 minus 139 as we can see the critical is less than the t-test t-test is in the critical area reject the null hypothesis at level of significance 0 0.05 with other words, I may have some error up to 5%.